Very nice to meet you. I also yeah, like your your room. Your setup is quite nice. Well, thank you. I'm in a hotel room here. It's all very dark <laughs> now. You probably don't know very well, but it goes with the film, though. It's moody. Good. <laughs> So yeah, um, I want to say I really enjoyed this movie. I love horror films myself. So this one, oh, was, good. this one was up my alley. <laughs> right. Was it nicely? Yeah. It's funny because I watched a lot of horror films when I was a kid, you know, when I was a teenager watching sort of Evil Dead and uh, the Halloween films and Friday mm -hmm. the 13th and, you know, American Werewolf in London, all that kind of oh, stuff, okay. you know, back in the early 80s. <laughs> and so I watched this the other day and went, okay, wow, this is, you know, this sort of takes me back to that stuff. But I haven't really watched these kinds of films for many years, so I'm curious how they'll be perceived, how this will be perceived now. No, uh, it's moody, it's creepy, it, it has the scares, it's got some good effects. I, I think you're you're in good company. Good, okay, <laughs> nice. Well, Justin's a clever guy, the guy who wrote and directed the film. So, you know, we, we felt like we were in good hands from the outset. Yeah, and I mean, for you, you know, you've, certainly had your share of dark roles but aside from movies like you know ravenous don't be afraid of the dark you haven't done a ton of horror just what was it that really intrigued you about this one well i mean it, it wasn't even so much that it felt like a horror film when i read it it just yeah. felt like really good drama and 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 clearly the idea of sort of exorcisms um i'm intrigued by really i mean i'm intrigued by religion Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm intrigued by the idea of people being so sort of fixated on religion. But I'm also intrigued by reincarnation and the idea that sort of spirits and energy can move about amongst us sort of living creatures. Yeah. And that, you know, that, that maybe one of us living creatures can be inhabited by a negative spirit. So... I found, you know, I found that sort of idea was what sort of drew me to it in the first place. And obviously talking to Justin about his style and how he wanted to make the film. Um, and I said, look, I, I want to be able to play this character, but I want to be able to play it like just a real human being, you know. And he said, of course, that's exactly what I want. Yeah. So it felt like it was sort of right up my alley as far as the psychology goes. Um, and I didn't even really think about the horror kind of element. It wasn't until I watched the film and I went, right, okay, kind of a horror film, you know. <laughs> there are demons. <laughs> yeah, there really are. Literal ones. <laughs> and, I mean, you know, you kind of touched on this, but I know a lot of people who do love horror movies still draw the line when it comes to religious horror or exorcisms. Because really? they, they, yeah, they, like, they truly believe that they could happen more than your normal like slasher film or something like that. And I'm just wondering if you had any sort of superstitions or, or anything kind of about that before you signed on. No. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I just kind of go, well, it is what it is, you know. I mean, I, I don't I don't believe stuff strongly enough. I don't disbelieve stuff strongly enough to to yeah. think that couldn't happen. <laughs> Mm. You know, I just kind of yeah. go, well, this this is possible. This is possible. <laughs> this is possible too. So who knows, you know. And now can you talk a little bit about the, the use of practical effects on this too, just seeing, you know, stuff happening on set as opposed to being added later? Well, uh, I mean, the only thing that we really saw on set, I suppose, was blood. You know, <laughs> I, you know, I feel no matter what film you do, they're always spraying you with blood at some point or other, whether it's yeah. gushing out of your head or gushing out of your mouth or you've got some cube poked up here and blood spurting out here. And Of course, at the time, you know, you're just aware of it. You know, they're like, well, it has to go in front of your ear. So you have to turn your head this much and then it will go in front of your ear. If you go back too far, then it'll go back. I'm like, okay, so I've got to be here and then it'll be in front of my ear, right? So, of course, it's all very technical, right? Mm -hmm. And then I look at the finished thing and go, oh, wow, okay. That's why they wanted it to go in front of the ear because look at that. That's amazing. Um, you know, so so it's always it always feels quite sort of technical, even with gun stuff, when you're doing yeah. sort of gun stuff and guns have to go off, you know. And, of course, once the music's added and once sound effects are added and of you course. hear the squelchy, horrible sounds of blood coming out, <laughs> you know, things feel very different then. <laughs> 
So it's it, it it does take another step when once you get into the, the sort of the real film part of it as opposed yeah. to what it is we're shooting, you know. And your character in this, he's a mentor for Father Daniel. I'm just curious for you, earlier in your career, is there kind of someone who filled that role for you? Hopefully with a better end result than without, to hear without but. demonic <laughs> without demonic kind of um, <laughs> overtones. Yeah. Well, I mean, look, there were there were actors and directors that I worked with, you know, Curtis Hansen, Russell Crowe, people like that that, you know, I looked up to and 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 still do, you know, and and got to work with and would learn a lot from. And um, you know, nobody that necessarily turned out to be evil, as you point out. Um, <laughs> yes, hope. <laughs> yeah. But uh, but there were certainly people who I understand the idea that you know, when you're less experienced, you look up to people who uh, you're on set with or you're working with that, you, that that have had far more experience than you, even if it's two or three years more experience, yeah. you tend to sort of look at them and go, I think particularly in our industry, because you, we see, you know, we see people up on screen and there's something sort of mythical about that. Mm. You know, we, we tend to sort of idolise people who are up on screen in the same way that we idolise gods and demons and etc. So you've got to be sort of really careful, I think, with, you know, with other actors that you don't sort of put them up on a pedestal, you know, and when, when most likely they're just as troubled as you are, you know, in yeah. a way. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm really happy to sort of see what the universe brings, to be honest. I know that's a boring answer. I'm so oh, sorry. it's fine. We're, we're interested to see what it brings you as well, so... <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for your time today. Pleasure to meet you. And um, yeah, just stay safe out there. No worries. Well, thank you. Good to talk to you. <laughs>